Let's see what Ak was doing in DR this weekend. <laughs> He's 69, man. You're following the ability. Welcome to the Brunch Club, the biggest platform on Earth. 50 million subscribers. This is going to be your biggest look ever on Earth, man. Listen, we're doing you a favor by bringing you up here. But no, uh, you're doing yourself a favor. Because to be honest, this is going to be a highest rated video. What right? you talking about? It's going to be a highest rated video. The, the biggest thing that y'all did was four years ago, and it was with the Respect My Name. To be honest with you, nobody knows y'all but for that. Like, Bro, what are you talking about? First of all, man, fuck, fuck all that. Did you even pass your GED, my name? I did. I did. And I did pass my GED. And for all the haters that think that I was going to go to jail, and I could suck my dick because I passed my GED. So say congratulations. Yo, you're so arrogant and everything. All right, so two dudes who clearly can't swim, kicking it in a pool. But the star, he passed man. the GED, though, that right? That was the gangster to floaty. Like, you know what I mean? Yo, you know, you cut the video as soon as you flopped in that water. You knew you didn't have that breaststroke. Man, I got to do... Hey, listen, I was in the Dominican Republic. I've been ghost riding tracks. I don't know if y'all know. Oh, and I had to go direct the direct. video. Okay, right. Let me salute my man, Cole Bennett. Uh, it's a track that I wrote. This is going to be a smash, and this is going to be... Uh, I hope it gets nominated for a Grammy that I can say I won a Grammy. Can we address the real issue of the video? <laughs> Why is that an issue? The, the inner leg rub. <laughs> the inner, hey, the inner leg massage. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that. Twitter is so homophobic. Oh, no academics. Uh, <laughs> Twitter is so homophobic. Low key. Low, that's part of the reason it went viral. But here's the thing. What? Homie can't swim. You could clearly see. So like, you let he, him feel your leg. No, nah, he wasn't feeling <laughs> It's a nigga trying to stabilize. That's why he's tilting on his back. Heard you. You get me? Dudes who can't now, swim. I'm not going to lie. It looked crazy. It looked crazy. But yeah. you know what? That's why I went viral. <laughs> Although I think you're now totally fucking compromised because of this. I have to say that that was uh, a fun video. <laughs> it, it, it's uh, it, it just you know, proves the that. Club? The What's that? The, the, brun the brunch club. I'm now club. up to speed, mm -hmm. you know. But I thought it was very, oh, very man. entertaining. Well, so yeah, I that was funny. I ain't gonna lie. Man. I commented like four times on your page on that you know one. I mean? yeah. you, got, you gotta make a, gotta make fun of uh, fun of uh, some serious situations. <laughs> but the brunch club hottest in the streets. I got. Well, so I was trying to be cute, of course, uh, talking about the Breakfast Club interview he did before flying to DR, where uh, he was as confident as always. He basically addressed all of his issues very open about it, including what happened when he was down in Austin for South by Southwest. Uh, here's what he had to say. There's grown ass men marching the streets looking for me like oh, that shit, that shit, that shit drives me. Like I got these niggas missing work. You know what I'm saying? They're not taking care of their kids. They them niggas marching the streets looking for a kid with rainbow hair. Like how stupid could you look? Like, you know what I'm saying? All right, so he also made some uh, dismissive comments about YG, who later tweeted, fuck 6 9 But after watching this, should rappers engage at this point? It's clear that he knows what he's doing and he's having fun with it. Getting under people's skin, uh, as he said. Well, I'm going to comment on an interview first. This interview is the first time I've ever seen a rapper, especially a young rapper, go up to the Breakfast Club, and he spun Charlamagne like he was a goddamn ballerina, man. Like, Charlamagne trolls a lot. Mm. And he trolls artists, not completely, but... He'll say certain troll shit that's funny. <laughs> and this kid who is naturally a troll, I just call him a troll because all his Instagram shit, he's a troll. Mm -hmm. He went up there and he had an answer for everything. He hit back pretty quick. And they weren't prepared enough to kind of corner him on anything. So, like, I mean, me listening back to it, I've seen a bunch of holes in what he said. But in, in the actual interview, he did great. And for a new artist who gets no media trainers we talk about, right, right. to go up to the Breakfast Club, uh, uh, you know, a place where you're going to get asked everything mm -hmm. and to handle it, I thought that was great. Well, he had a good strategy, right? He would make the point he wanted to make and, and over talk. Sh yeah, exactly. I, it's I not think he was just natural. If you're finished, I'd like to jump in. I want to be sensitive uh, because I don't want to come off as hating on The Breakfast Club. Um, I used to be at Power 105.1, syndicated into 11 states. This was a horrible interview. Horrible, in my opinion. Uh, this young man was attacked by three people that are supposed to be at the forefront of the culture, the, the art form, um, and I don't want to call out names, but they sounded s somewhat out of the loop, and he was attacked, and I thought he handled himself very well. He was wide awake, no sunglasses early in the morning, and he looked tired, but yeah, he, he spun this, he, he, he defended himself. He's the hottest nigga in, in, in the country right now, fuck just New York, in the country. And uh, what he said was accurate because he seems to have an understanding of the landscape. I think this is their biggest interview on YouTube. I don't know. 
I think but it's too soon to say it, that. It's the fastest one. Fastest one. For yeah. the last, for I, I have to say salute to Bozo. He handled this well. And again, he was attacked. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's yeah, Bozo yeah, yeah, the yeah. fucking clown. And I'm not saying that to, to shit on him or to clown him, but even he says, you know, grown ass men are chasing a guy with fucking colored hair. He passed the GED salute. I hope Buckwall passes his. But um, I, I was on his side rooting for him. And let, let me also just say this. Why they attacked him, I don't know. They seem to be so concerned about his safety, gang talk, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, other people have come on that platform, promoted the gang activity lifestyle, and they suck their dicks. Why did they come after him? That's beyond me, but he handled himself well. I'm kind of thrown off. I don't know how to take Takashi anymore. I don't know if he's dead serious or he's just absolutely joking. I don't, I don't know what it is anymore. Like, after, when I seen the, the, the interview, it was very entertaining, super entertaining, but I'm just like, I, I don't know if he's dead serious by some of the shit he's saying or he's just joking. I, like, I, don't, I don't know anymore. Like, there was some gems in there. Uh, a lot of gems. I, I thought he handled a question when Sean said, yo, well, if you're a gangster, why didn't you go with, there was 100 people at your show, why didn't right, you go? And he right. says, there's a difference between gangster and stupid. <laughs> and and, and for, for a kid right, to right. actually have that response, yeah. there's a lot, because that's testing not a ego kid. almost. Oh, okay, okay. He's not a, okay. He's, like, no, listen, like, he keeps, all right, the, I, it's a few things I got from it. I don't mean to cut you off, like, it's a few things I got from it. It's like, okay, that's why I say I don't know if he's dead serious or not, because he's a grown man too. He has a child too. So it's like, I don't know if he's just playing around with people or if he's dead serious, but that kid, he's not a kid. He's a 21-year-old man making millions of dollars. Well, well, let me correct what, when I say kid. When, when he says kid, and by the way, that's not a child, right? 21, right? He's not a but child. But I think he's comparing himself to, and, and salute to my nigga the game, the game is 40. He's right. 21. The okay. game been in the industry for 10, 15 years. This is year one for him. Right. He's comparing himself. He's saying that all these guys who are clearly, they shouldn't be concerned with the rookie who's now in the game doing some shit, but they're all turning their focus towards me. But they're not concerned with him because he's this great rapper. They're concerned with him because he's being disrespectful to what they feel their culture is, whether anybody cares about it or not. That's why people are concerned with it. It's not like people are just picking him out of nowhere. And, and, and that's where I, I actually agree. And that's why I believe the Breakfast Club, if they were trying to make a point, they could have done that. But he, there was one hypocritical statement he said, right? Because he mm -hmm. did say, yo, I, I have freedom of speech. I can say what I want. I don't threaten anyone particularly. And I think that's where he kind of gets a little bit hazy because he, everybody who's either showed up or marched in the streets, whatever, he never threatened them personally. But do they feel disrespected because of how he's portrayed their city or whatever? Yeah, so that's why they're doing something about it. Should, do they have that right? Sure. I guess the freedom of speech thing goes both ways. But you can't really say it's just freedom of speech and then in the next breath say, test my gangster. Right. I, I disagree with you. I think the culture, as you just said, is being re redefined right now. There are no parameters. There are no guidelines. There is no counsel, uh, mm. with the exception of what um, Q-Tip and LL Cool J and MC Light are doing. I, I don't know if that's a national council. There is no parameters. He's mm. playing the game, I have to say, and, and I'm nobody's fan. Put salute to Bozo. He he's playing the fucking game. I think he's playing the industry game. I think what you're talking yeah. about, they were attacking him. I'm just I'm just interjecting. Uh, they're saying like you're playing with the music industry and you're playing with the streets, and that's where it gets right. blurry. It's all the same now. Is it all? It's, the same? Sadly, it's all the same. Everybody wants to be a rapper. Nobody wants to be a drug dealer anymore because they, they know that's a fucking dead end. He's riding the fence. He's doing it well. And again, I'm not I'm not his fucking fan, but I I have to respect how he's maneuvering. I, I say, like, he's either a genius or he's fucking crazy. Like, he's, he's either a mad scientist or he's, like, this genius. I, I don't know. It's like, is he just doing this because it's helping him win? But at the same time, it could be detrimental to your health. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, he feels that, by the way, he compared himself before to Floyd Mayweather, right? Where I don't think it's an undefeated thing, but Floyd Mayweather made the majority of his money from people buying pay-per-view hoping to see him get knocked out. Right. And every time you get online, right. like, right. is his chain getting snatched? Right. Is someone finally doing something? Yeah. And right. the, every time it doesn't happen, more people keep coming. And, and right. why is 
The Breakfast Club is so concerned about his safety. They play music that antagonizes, that intensifies, that celebrates the ignorance of the fucking streets. I know this to be true. I took blood money for a lot of years. I sat there and let a whole lot of shit go through it. I said, whoa, that's fucking pr pretty, pretty uh, intense, the lyrics. But, you know, hey, I'm getting a check. I'm, I mean, I think he's going to get... I don't think that they're attacking him. These are the oh, they questions. Attacked him. They these attacked are the questions him. that you're gonna get asked based on your actions. Like I, I get where you're coming from with that, but they're gonna ask him like, "Yo, why do you keep doing all of this gang shit if you don't really want no?" Or, you're gonna ask these questions. You don't. Nobody wants to see this kid die. And, and and I agree with all that, but I will say for a kid who, again, he come, he does come across as, across as arrogant. I, he does, he is arrogant, but he said, "Yo, I got, I had five songs. I made a Billboard Hot 100." Right. They talked for an hour, and there was no music talk. There was oh. not even, okay, listen, your album did That's well. That's why he was attacked. Your album did well. Let's talk about, do you have another pro None yeah, of that. Yeah, it yeah. was nothing about, hey, hey, what song? None of that. But was he about said, he started off saying, I want to get straight to it. He didn't want to talk about his music. They asked him, yo, how do you get your name? Nah, nah. He said, nah, I don't want to talk about none of that. He wanted to cut the short shit short. Yeah, he, he we wanted know why that, I'm though. here. Let's but, get it cracking. Well, you could get beyond that. You could address all that shit in the first yeah. half an hour and spend half an hour on the music. But let's be honest. What? You bring an artist up here, you ain't even trying to talk about it. It's an interview. Like, <laughs> well, him, I mean, him. people want to know more about him and what he got going on than his music. Be honest, Breakfast Club or any outlet ain't bringing no nigga up there. Nah, most of them, they don't talk about, don't talk about no music. They don't. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. everything out there against him, it's going to come off like an attack, right? That's why it's a star's point. I won't even, like, argue it. It's going to come off as an attack when you're constantly asking him, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Right. Even though, <laughs> legit questions, though. Legit questions, yeah. but it's going to seem like he's being attacked. But isn't that sad that the hip hop arena, that the interviews center around bullshit and possible violence? And, and if I Salacious just, shit that could sell. If I can just throw a name out here. If you go to Elvis Duran's morning show, they don't talk about all that gang shit. They purposely, and, and, and they make it a point known that, hey, let's just touch on that, but let's talk about the music. It's a different mindset. It's a different approach. I thought it was, um, again, they attacked him. I thought he handled it well. But uh, as a man of a certain age, I have to look at it and say, wow, why are we still entertaining just the, the, the lowest form of entertainment by, in 2018 by way of hip hop? That's all I wanted to say. All right. So again, a rapper like YG watching this interview can understand why he would be offended. But at this point, is it worth even engaging knowing that this is how to cloud feels? Chasing. Like he's just, <laughs> he's not taking any Isn't of this seriously. New, sorry. Isn't that the new? Clouds, cloud chasing. New slang? New. I, I will cloud not accuse YG of uh, cloud chasing though. Sure yeah. he is. I don't think uh, that. I, I, I think those guys are deeply offended. The only <laughs> thing is that you only add more energy. I, honestly, this is what I would say. For the people who don't like Takashi, the hate fuels the movement. As I was saying with the floor, like you can't talk about him, tweet, if you tweet fuck him and block, you're only hyping it up. Yeah. Clout If you don't chasing. like him, and, and I would say that- Why do you think that, it's clout? I don't know if it's, yeah, we can just say, so look, I, I could understand where someone like a YG is coming from. If you grew up on the West Coast and you grew up in a culture that's serious, it's like a life or death issue, and someone is sort of like just joking about it on the internet all the time, I can understand how that's offensive. How are we dismissing YG? He's an established artist, he's a good rapper, I think. T today's generation, in my opinion, 95% of them are clout chasing. That's just the norm. I mean, people say shit. But you're, are we looping in a YG and someone brand absolutely. new like He's not above it? He's the, not above the, it? No, no, the, the, there's a case to be made for it, but just off YG's character, who I think he is and what he's, the principles he stands for, I'm going to say no. But, of course, remember, we talked about the song he dropped, the Sue Whoop song, mm -hmm. which we, we, we kind of were asking, is he talking about Takashi now? If these guys have never met, and you're just talking about the new hottest guy on, on, on the block in your song, mm -hmm. that might be for some attention. But, but again, not, is it right? because of his music or it's because of what he's doing behind the scenes that he finds offensive? But, but is he doing it directly to you? There's a lot of people doing some weird shit out here. You're no, only talking no. about him because he's hot. No, 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 it's not he's not talking about him because he's hot. He's repping blood. YG is blood. Like, like, I don't know if people know how, that shit is religion to them. That shit is the, no, you can't I'm, play I'm not, with that I, shit. I'm not arguing that. I'm arguing why are you going at him now? What other bloods is out here running around acting, uh, uh, doing the shit that he's doing? So, so that's what I say, you're, you're proving. Chris Brown. No, no, no. No, no, it's Chris not the Brown. same. And, and they've had their issues too. A lot of people don't know that. They have their issues too. You're just not going to see everything in the media. Is, no, is Chris, no, Br I'm sorry, is Chris Brown 
Blood, he, he talks that hot he shit. He is. Yeah? He is. He's also a singer and dancer. So and he, he, he intertwines right, all but that he's, shit. He's also in L.A. with Bloods on the ground out there, right? With the whole... It's not that... I, 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 I hear what you're saying. Right. But, but was Chris Brown ever, ever, ever gangbanging? No, but no, that, exactly. the issue is not about him... Ga- th- listen, the issue is not about him gangbanging. Takashi could have done all the shit that he's doing. It's just when you start putting up like the video that you had on your page with people was in the background saying, fuck L.A., we the new L.A., that shit is offensive. And that's coming from people that would never go to L.A. That so, I agree. So that that's, I agree. That, that's what I'm, and that shit is dangerous. You, somebody's going to, when they see you put that up, they think you co-signing let, that shit. Let, 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 me, let me ask, and I'm, I'm going off what he said with the cloud chasing, because I do believe some pe- hell of people are offended, but we, we have to also realize why certain people are using their platforms to voice um, other shit, right. right? Like the game. The game, WAC 100, WAC 100 was, was co-signing 6 9 not too long ago. Right. Obviously, and probably the L.A. shit, but the game came out on stage, he's now dissing them. Right. You get me? So, like, I, I do realize it, it's a growing movement where right. once, you, once you say, fuck this kid, because there's a lot of people who don't like him, right. it does give you some more attention. Is that the only incentive why they're doing it? Clearly not. Hell of people are offended in the West Coast. YG, he's finally made his, his stance be known. Yeah. The game, people were waiting Everybody for the game to Everybody in the West out. Coast is offended. They, they, just because they haven't said something, a lot of people are not going to say something because they don't want to talk about that shit because it's very sensitive. The, the, the only people who I would say is possibly cl- cloud chasing is the rappers who don't have anything going on. YG, YG is, is a recording artist who is doing good right. for himself. The game, he's on a tour still making millions of dollars, right? So he's doing well even if he's not the hottest at the moment. Right. There's certain rappers that I've never heard of until this. Like yeah, the, their no. claim to fame is is this. So that, that that I would say that they're trying to build a career off right. saying fuck this but guy. We t- we, but, but the issue was YG. It, it wasn't all these other motherfuckers. We talking about YG and Star said him being a clout. I, he's not chasing no clout. Clout don't, chasing. He don't need. He don't. He doesn't need anything from Takashi. No, to be successful, he's, he's successful he's, without him. Okay. Without beefing with him. You know, it's just, it's getting to the point now where they like, fuck it, I'm gonna say something now. I respect what you're saying with regards to the origins of gang life in gang land, but the younger generation moves different. It's, you know, everybody's doing shit. How do they survive? For a come up. How do they survive, though? though? Because I got calls before the Breakfast Club interview aired, Mm -hmm. and it was people who cool with YG or whatever, and, and they were bracing for what Takashi said about YG. So I do believe that Breakfast Club interview where he belittled YG, right? Of course, he probably felt some way about the LA thing, but he belittled him saying, that guy isn't really as successful as me. His, the only song I remember him from is an old song called Two of the Booted. But he was trolling right there. Wait, wait, like being, was tro- it, was tro- trolling. it was trolling, but clearly YG is offend- offended by it, right? Yeah. Again, I, I think this is also another silver line and we have to see how it plays out because your trolling is super offensive. Right, and that's why I'm saying I don't know if he's just a comedian or he's dead serious. Like, like you said, when you start saying "test my gangster," yo, you, you can't be saying you can't use certain type of words, man. Like, like you could you could still troll and be funny and all that, but once you start talking that, yo, test my gangster, y'all niggas could suck my dick. Like, that's crazy. Hey, hey, I'm I in, let my nuts hang. That's crazy. Hilarious. I'm riding with Bozo. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, man. I'm in a point last night which I was like. I was talking about this whole interview on stream, and I was like, yo, why does he, like Takashi even feel the need to do all this? Other than the fact that the controversy probably helps build his career, right. but you do get hated, and then it's hard to tour. Right. If you've ever seen a Takashi 6 9 show on like Instagram or whatever, it's all white kids, little 13-year-old yeah, white late. kids. And no, I'm, I'm comparing it to the demographic of the average gangbanger, like a YG show looks much different. I've Absolutely. seen a young Jeezy show, much different. Absolutely. There's, there's not 13-year-old white kids just in YG show. And so, so what I'm saying is I've never seen a gang, uh, a gangbanger who's a rapper stage dive. So is he really a gangbanger? No, no, no. Right, so no, no, like... no, 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 no. That was my point. My All point right. is that the music and the kids who are loving your music, they don't really care about the gang shit. Exactly. Like, like, exactly. You might be causing unnecessary problems by even doing that, but your audience, they don't really care. Like... You could throw up like a, a, a rainbow flag and they'd be like, what gang is that? <laughs> so, so again, I caution him like, hey, don't start problems with people, like especially like YG and people from the West Coast. They live it. 
their parents grew up in it and it's just hi historically ingrained in their DNA so they're going to be very offended and and if you're an artist and you want to be successful you have to go to LA you have you have to go through LA you have to well, just like people if, have to come to New York. If you want to tour. If you want to tour. If, not just not. touring, but just business opportunities. Like, it's a lot of business opportunities in L.A. It's a lot of music that's made in L.A. Yeah, but he could go to L.A. L L let's be clear with him. Like, someone says you can't come here. Like yeah, Anybody could go anywhere. I'm just saying that. Well, all right, now. For me, I think his shows are shut down in L.A. I don't think he can. Yeah, his shows are shut down. But the thing is, is that just moving around. Like, you, you go to L.A., of course. Any, his label's in L.A. Yeah, anybody could go to L.A. and take an <laughs> Uber or a car directly to where they have to go. I'm talking about when you have to move around. Now, you can't do no clubs. You can, it's a lot of money you can't make there. Well, th that is the risk you got to take, and that's the, that's the cost of doing business. The cost of getting this lit on Instagram, mm -hmm. yeah, you're not doing a, a club near anywhere where YG controls. <laughs> well, they didn't seem too concerned, right? He was saying just one show got canceled, not a big deal, so... Guess you'll yeah, be all right. Real gangsters move in silence. That's all I'll say. That's an interesting comment to close this segment. Well, that's also a point he made. He said, listen, everyone who says they have a problem with me, they announce it online. Yeah. And they, why not just wait till I get there and deal with it off the internet? I'm no tough guy, but I always say, don't tell me you want to punch me in my face. Punch me in my fucking face. I agree with that.